ASMR channel. <laughs> it's kind of a different vibe when you do it, so maybe if, even if you've heard this story before, at least, you know, it's going to be relaxing, relaxing, relaxing. This is, comes from Am I the Asshole on Reddit, and this is also on the wedding property one as well. I don't know. It says, Am I the Asshole for not letting my best friend said she's not the asshole, just, you know, but there is an update, so let's wait. Alright. One of my 29 male best friends, Carla, 31F, is getting married soon. It's only meant to be a small backyard type of wedding, but they've been planning it for a few months now, and it originally was supposed to be on my property. They wanted it because it's private, it has lots of open space for the reception, it has a nice view, and the house could be used for them to get ready and stuff. Of course, I said yes. Her and her fiance Rick were very happy. Thing is, Carla and I do have history. We went out on and off in college, but decided to stay friends. Then I met my wife. We got married. Carla met Rick. Now here they are. Now my wife knows I went out with Carla back in college and she didn't care. Carla went, still went to our wedding and everything. I knew if Rick wasn't told or not. Oh, I never knew if Rick was told or not. It's not my relationship, therefore not my business to say anything, so I never did. Rick found out recently and not in the best way. Not sure how, but from what I heard from friends is that one mutual friend told him no idea why. We used to date. Not only that, but apparently, 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 Carla said a couple years ago she was still in love with me when she was already dating Rick. Oh my gosh. I don't have actual confirmation if that's exactly what he was told. All Carla told me is that Rick was told everything. Oh, was told about her past and he's angry at her for saying anything. It became quite a drama and didn't hear from her for over a month until now. She told me they're going to couples counseling and that the wedding is still on. But Rick requested that I did not attend. It sucks, but I totally get why he wouldn't be comfortable. Then I asked the obvious question, where they were going to hold the wedding then. To my surprise, she said they still want it at our place. Oh my god. <sighs> Rick said so, and in my mind I'm going, he doesn't want the guy who dated his fiance years ago at the wedding, but he still wants the wedding at his house. <sighs> my wife and I are expected to just not be at our house that weekend, and I told Carla no find someplace else since we're not going to simply leave our home for them for the weekend. Not only for safety reasons, but it just doesn't make sense. Rick didn't want me around because he's not comfortable, but is comfortable enough to have their wedding at my house. At my house, at my house, at my house. They really want their wedding here though, and because of that I've been bugged not only by her, but also Rick. Oh my god. <laughs> some friends who think I'm being a petty asshole for not letting them have the wedding here anymore. Honestly, I don't think I am. It just doesn't make sense at all to leave our own place for a wedding we're no longer welcome to, and leaving our home totally vulnerable. Still, being accused of sabotaging their wedding and Rick believes it's the least I can do. After everything, am I the asshole? Am I the asshole? Um, I don't think that he's the asshole. Adam, what do you think? No. <laughs> okay, I, I can trust you as well. Okay, and we have an update. We have an update, an update, an update. Update. Some stuff has happened. when it seems many in this situation didn't. I remained firm in my decision about not letting them use my property for their wedding, even if they changed their mind about inviting us, which really, honestly, I don't care about anymore. Rick's family, thanks to him, got a hold of my 
so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 